Next thing I'm gonna talk about is like study schedule. So like prior to dedicated, uh, I was asking a whole bunch of you know people that have already taken a step. Hey, send me your schedule. Hey, send me your schedule. And it was just everybody had like a different schedule and so overwhelming. Like I don't know what schedule to use. Does that make sense? So I ended up buying, um, I ended up buying Cram Fighter. And I started off with the cramp fighter schedule, but honestly, within two weeks, I said to hell with that thing. Um, and that's around the time I said, I need to make sure that I do as many questions as I possibly can. Does that make sense? So cramp fighter had me, had me doing like, read this many pages from first date and then watch these specific videos and then do 10, 20 questions, you know what I'm saying? But then once I said to hell with all that, questions, 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 I said to hell with cramp fighter. And my opinion on schedules, I think, I think a schedule is good. Like if you're like one of those like checkbox, like checking off type of people, um, but at the end of the day, like, you should see how much time you have, how many weeks do you have, divide how many questions must I do a day, and then from there, what am I going to do after I do my questions? So basically, my, my typical day, I'll get to the library at 7, I would drink cop, I'll, like, I'll be watching Sketchy as the copy was kicking in, you know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't just jump into questions while I'm still, like, sleepy as hell. So I'm, I'm watching Sketchy as... You know, I'm waking up, and let's say around 8 o'clock, I'll start doing questions. Um, when I was doing 80, I will do 40, and that, you know, take an hour, do 40, take like a five-minute restroom break, and then do another 40, get 80 questions in, review, review, review. Let's say that took me from 8 to 4, 8 to 5, and then at that point, after I've done my questions, because remember, that's the most important thing, I'll then watch Sketchy or watch Pathoma. You see what I'm saying? And then I'll watch like, let me just watch four chapters in Pathoma. Let me watch, you know, this anti-diabetic section of drugs and sketchy, right? And at that point, I was gone. And that was basically it. And I just knew, by the time I take step, I wanna make sure all that is done. You see what I'm saying? So, if you need a schedule for that, I mean, you can make one, but at the end of the day, it's like, before you take step, you just wanna make sure that you've ran through all of your world, you've ran through all of sketchy, you've ran through all of first day, or whatever resources that you wanna run through, and then take it, does that make sense? So let me talk about how I, how I use your world. So I said save your world to when you get to you know, dedicated. Honestly, by the time you get to dedicated, let's say you start second year and you've done five questions a day, 10 questions a day, 10 times 365 is 3,650. Does that make sense? You'll run through a whole question bank, you start your world, and at that point, you've already seen so many questions, right? So now I'm gonna talk about your world. Here's the thing, like, don't see your world as a, 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 a predictor of like how smart I am. Like, oh, I got a 90 on this you know, block, or I got a 50 on this block. See you all as a textbook. Does that make sense? It's like, it's a, no, it's a learning resource just like first aid or just like, you know what I'm saying? It's not an evaluator of how smart you are, right? So when you start your world, it's gonna humble you. You know what I'm saying? Like the questions are hard, but the, the thing about you all is like 20% is take doing the questions, 80% is reviewing the qu reviewing why the right answer is right and why the wrong answers are wrong. Does that make sense? And when you first start doing questions, it's gonna take a long time because you're learning, you're seeing all those you know, new keys type of thing that they're giving you. But by the second week, third week of doing questions, some of the concepts that you've already seen, you don't have to go through with as much like, you know, as much of a lens, like scoping out each thing. Does that make sense? So, let's say I did my 80 questions and I'm reviewing one through 40, whatever, you know, going through it. Certain things on like the USMLE, like it's not, a, it's not about knowing that one thing. You have to know the whole list, that whole like, list of things. I'll give you an example, like um, neurocutaneous disorders. Like if they ask you about one neurocutaneous disorder, they can ask you about all of them. So you basically have to like, damn, and you know, on the answer choices, they're gonna have all the answer choices. You have to know them all. Or like, let's say brain cancers, you have to know them all. Or like uh, strokes, you have to know them all. Lipid storage diseases, you have to know them all. Glycogen storage diseases, you have to know them all. Or, you know what I mean, like, um, break your arch, break your foreign, you know what I'm saying? So one thing I noticed when I, I was studying was, It'll, it'll take me a long ass time because you want to like review each thing right in detail like oh let me memorize this right now and let me go annotate first day and by the time you know it, it takes you five hours six hours to do 40 questions and i wasn't getting like my volume up and that's what i was kind of doing prior before i just started doing straight questions but one thing i started to do and which i think was which was way more efficient for me to make sure i get through my volume i just created what i call the by fire by force list which was basically like me like making a running tab of like what I need to make sure I go home and memorize for that day. So at first that list was pretty long, you know what I mean? Like I missed one question on lip um, Tay-Sachs. I don't know Fabrice, I don't know Garchets, I don't know none of these hoes, right? So instead of me like at that time 
reviewing them all to the point where I felt comfortable with it. I just added it to my by far, by force list and then ran through the rest of my questions, right? And then once I was done with all of my, my 80 for the day, I would then I'd pick one thing on my by fire, by force list and try to really learn that well. You see what I'm saying? So I would then at that point find a whiteboard and try to run through the pathways of glycolysis or get a whiteboard and see, can I hit the different, you know, brain diseases? Can I hit this whole list of multiple endocrine neoplasias? Can I hit this whole list? Because if they ask you one, they can ask you any of them. You know what I mean? And so instead of, instead of at that time spending 30 minutes on, you know, I'm on question 15. I got 40 questions to review. I'm not going to spend 45 minutes trying to memorize that one thing. I just added to my fire by force. I said, all right, this will be mastered today. And then I pushed through my... So I recorded the video and I realized I forgot one key thing, which is important enough for me to make this little insert. But I want to talk about the importance of doing all random, all time. So I know a lot of people like you'll read, like, you know, how do you do your questions on your world when you're doing your world? And um, people be like, oh, like do all cardio questions or, you know, read first aid and then do all GI questions or you know, things like that. And that's what I was doing at first when I was studying, like that first two weeks when I was, you know, reviewing, you know, heme and respiratory and cardio and things of that nature. But um, I personally, I think it, it makes the most sense to do all random, all timed. First of all, step one. It's all random and it's all time. Does that make sense? And simulating simulating what you're going to be doing on the real deal is what you need to practice and train your mind to do as you study, you know, first steps. So it's one of those things where, like, you shouldn't be doing tutor mode. You shouldn't be doing just one system. You should force yourself to be able to bounce from idea to idea to idea, from topic to topic, system to system, while at the same time being cognizant of how much time do you have. You can't spend five minutes on one question, right? So it's like, I. Right, this is a hard ass question to hell with it. Move on, get your 40 in, then go back to number 14 and be like, okay, bet, like I have eight minutes. I'm gonna give this one question that's worth the same amount as every other question, the time that it deserves. Does that make sense? Um, also with like all random, all time, at first it kind of feels weird cause it's like all jumpy, you know? So I haven't reviewed him or I don't remember cardio. I don't, you know? So you're just bouncing from front to back, front to back. But by the time you get to like week three, week four, you'll realize like, that's how your, your score will incrementally just keep going up because you're covering more things at one time versus, you know, doing system by system. And then you, you finally review all the systems. By the time you reviewed your last system, you forgot what you reviewed your first system. Does that make sense? So it's one of those things where it's like, you've learned the material before, right? You've learned it before. So it's like, oh, damn, I did remember the ALL versus AML versus CLL versus CML. I don't remember what it was, but I learned it and you get it wrong. You're like, true. You read the explanation true you add learn the different type of leukemias to your by fire by force list you know you move on to the next question by the time you get home now i'm sitting down and i'm like all right all is this these are the characteristics aml is this these are characteristics cll is this these are characteristics cml is this is a characteristic does that make sense so when you do you world in dedicated specifically like all random all time don't play yourself you know what i'm saying like like, it's okay, you're gonna, everybody, it's a curve, you feel me? Don't be stressed out because you're getting 40%, the rest of the nation's at 60%. You know what I'm saying? Be like, true, I've learned this much today. Every step, every block is, like I said, your world is a textbook. You learn, like, from the questions. You miss it, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Your average is 40%, it doesn't matter. Learn from your world, does that make sense? So, when you do your world in dedicated, all random, all time. Just from the jump, day one, all right, bet. You've already been, you've been doing questions and dedicated. I mean, you've been doing questions and pre-dedicated. You're, you're up to speed on first aid because you've been using first aid throughout, you know, your first and, two, first and second year. You've already have all of Pathoma watched because you watched it as you went through the class. You have all of Boards of Beyond watched because you watched it as you went through your class. You know what I'm saying? You have Sketchy Watch. And at that time, it's like, now it's time to make money. You feel me? Now it's time to be like, all right, bet. Let's get raw. And, and all random, all time is the easiest way to really get where you're trying to get and quick. Another thing that I would do, um, would I would like real quick watch the sketchy micro or sketchy farm video if I missed the question on micro or farm. Because at that point, it just stuck a lot better. Um, because like I saw a question on it, I seen how it was presented, I seen what you all had to say about it. I would then take, you know, three minutes, you know, triple speed real quick and then watch that specific bug or watch that specific you know drugs and then at that point it's like okay that makes like it just it just helped me remember it a lot better also quick point on like sketchy so i can't watch all 
I can't watch like 10 videos in a row because that just, everything starts to like look the same for me, right? So that's why I, I spent every morning watching a little bit at a time. And one thing I, I did, I think was really beneficial with Sketchy, like after each sketch, I would close my eyes and try to say everything that I just saw. Does that make sense? And I think that also helped like really help things stick in, you know? And once you open your eyes and you relook at the thing, you're like, damn, I forgot this. And then you remember that little thing, like, oh, there's a hat on this guy. Oh, that's that, you know, you know, y'all know how sketchy it is type of thing. So that's also kind of how I like use sketchy to make sure that I was really learning the shits. So I went through all my 80, boom. And at that point, what I would do was I would watch like Pathoma and Sketchy. And when I'm watching Pathoma, like during Dedicated, for me, it wasn't, I wasn't taking notes. I was just, I'm just listening. You know what I mean? Like, okay, bet. Like, let me gather this knowledge. And at that point, so if I, in my next day, instead of 40 or instead of 80, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, I just, I just watched Pathoma's GI ch chapters. Has a question on it and it sticks a lot better. Does that make sense? So for me, I just wanted to get through the content. And that's kind of how I did it. I was three times speeding that thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like, hey, give me the heat, give me the heat. I'm trying to go to sleep type of thing. And then by the time I got home, uh, I'll leave the library at, at like six. And then at first I was like working out, but later in I stopped like going to the gym, which I don't recommend. Um, but once I like got home at that point, change the scenery type of thing. And then I'll by fire, by force, what's on my list, what needs to be mastered, lipid metabolism, what needs to be mastered. You see what I'm saying? Um, and, and that's what I would do just really try to focus in on like that constellation of symptoms and the, that constellation of like nephrotic versus nephritic. You have to know them all. Does that make sense? So I really just focus on that one thing after my questions. You see what I'm saying? With first aid, at first I was like annotating, like re-annotating first aid with the questions I, I learned. But I really stopped doing that because I was really just like, I need to just get through these questions, you know, and just, I just trusted the process by the time I was like, by the time I'm done with you world, I just trust that I'll know it. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, so with U World, I I did it all of U World, so from front to back, and then I redid all of my mists. So I did one and a half t um, passes. So I did all of U World. I did all of my mists, and I think that was pretty beneficial because at a certain point, if you miss it, you can't miss it again. So you know, you missed it. You know, in week one, by the time you see it again in week six, you're like, oh yeah, how, how did I miss that question? You know, and if you're still missing, that means you need to keep seeing it. Uh, type of deal. So I did it one and a half times and that's basically how I use your world. So first aid for me, uh, during Dedicated, I didn't really like do a full read through until like the last week. But mind you, I was already comfortable with first aid because I've been using it so I was impressed to like read first aid every day because I was like, I already, I already read the book and by the time I started doing questions, it was like, I know, I know what my day consists of. 